signs of recovery from the pandemic in the labor market for some Asia-Pacific economies. The latest data from Hong Kong shows unemployment easing to 6% in the three months to May. That's from down 6.4% in the previous quarter. Australia's labor market also improving. May unemployment sliding to 5.1% from 5.5% in April. And Singapore's labour market has grown for the first time since the start of the pandemic. The unemployment rate has eased to 4% for locals and permanent residents in the first quarter. But the data also shows youth unemployment rate also grew to nearly 11% last year, which is more than previous crises like SARS or the global financial crisis. Brendan Tanoto with more. Over 12,000 Singapore residents got jobs in the first quarter. Best performing sectors were health, social services, IT and public administration. But when it comes to job vacancies, FMB, construction and manufacturing were among the fastest growing. The structural unemployment gaps have always been in the, I would say, the non-sexy jobs uh, that it's been harder to fill Singaporeans with, uh, namely the industries are construction, uh, F&B, as well as healthcare, where the hours and the working conditions are seen as less attractive uh, to potential candidates or to attract the talent pool. Uh, these sectors have traditionally always been fulfilled with non-resident employment. More jobs were also on the market. With around 68,000 roles, this means nearly one job vacancy for every unemployed person. Observers say fresh grads stand a good chance of filling them. Typically, when a market is in recovery, organisations hiring at a junior level is much easier to do so, and the cost investment is also much lesser. Hiring mid-career professionals typically happens when they are doing it for either attrition or specific in-demand skills. Still, the youth unemployment rate was 10.6% last year. That's higher than in previous crises like SARS in 2003 at 9.3% or the global financial crisis in 2009 at 8.8%. But under a government job scheme that started last year, nearly 8,000 young graduates have so far gotten work stints. It really lowers the barriers of entries uh, to these types of jobs which were different from my field of study. Uh, so it allowed me to experiment uh, with a different and new career path and at the same time still incorporate and integrate my uh, diverse uh, skill set into the job duties. Meanwhile, fewer were out of work or laid off. And for those who lost jobs, two in three find work within six months. Still, the labour market isn't fully back to pre-pandemic levels. Last month's um, tightened measures in terms of the phase two heightened alert, uh, we think that um, it may cause a little bit of, of um, uh, kinks. So recovery is, is also expected to be more uneven across uh, some of the other sectors than earlier uh, expected. Dr Tan says the government will continue to support businesses and workers even as the job market recovers.